Hey Digi fans and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now in today's video we're going to be making a strange tale and I'm going to be showing you how to make an epic film using a piece of fruit and a piece of paper. It's all very easy, it's all very simple using Adobe Spark Video. First thing to do is fold a piece of paper along the long edge and then fold it into thirds so that when you open it up you have this nice grid of six boxes. So your first box is the title of your film, decide what you're going to call it. Next one is who and where, who's your character and where are they? Box number three is big change, what's the big event that happens to spark off this story? And then send your character on an adventure, adventure one, another adventure, adventure two, and then bring it all together in a beautiful ending. Now that you've written all of your work, it's time to create your video. So I'm using the browser here, spark.adobe.com, but if you're using an iPad or a tablet, you'd use the Spark Video app. So I'm gonna click video here. Next. There are lots of templates that you can use here. And so check them out, see what you think. I'm gonna start from scratch. There is always the tutorial, but I'm gonna show you everything you need to know. So down the bottom here is where you can add your scenes. We're probably gonna have about six because you've got six boxes. So let's put six in now. Uh, the credits and the outro, just leave those alone. Let me give our film a title. Now you can play with the text by making it slightly larger. We've got full screen on this side, which means we have a, a big title in the middle. I like that. And I'm gonna put a photo behind this. So we can, this can be the first thing that our viewers can see. Oh, I like that one, that's cool. The Strange Tale of the Curious Orange. Now, I'm gonna move the title just over to the left there. And then I'm going to zoom in slightly on my orange and kind of move that to the right. Nice. Okay, and then I want to add in a voiceover. So I'm going to press and hold this button here. The strange tale of the curious orange. Great. So that's our first box. It's done. This is easy, isn't it? Next one is who and where. Let me record my voiceover first. There once lived a curious orange who found himself trapped in a freezing cold and dark prison, along with other fruits and foods from around the world. You can preview your voiceover at any time just by clicking here. If you ever want to re-record, you just press and hold and it'll go over the top. Or you can remove narration by clicking that button there. And I'm gonna add in some video. So, I've got my video all lined up here and it's this one. Now, what you'll see is it's got this little button down here and this one is align voice and video. It'll match the length of your video clip to the length of your voiceover, which is pretty handy. I'm gonna click and hold in the middle here and move my clip kind of in the center. Click save. You can zoom into the clip if you want to, why not? Uh, one thing I will show you as well is you can play with the sound. So you can either have it on loud, soft and mute, but I think I'm gonna put all my clips on mute because I'm using voiceover so heavily. So we've done box one, box two, box three, we're nearly halfway. This is what changed everything. I'm gonna put my video in first so now that that's there i'm going to record my voiceover one night the prison guard left the prison door wide open without waking his fellow fruits and foods the curious orange made a run for it now let me show you how to use icons as well now this one is all about the orange escaping so if i put escape in here all these cool little icons that i can use Oh, I like this one. Going through a door. Nice. I like it. And also, I might put one on here, on clip number two. I really like that. I think it makes it look cool. Box number four. This is Adventure One. Click Save. In the early hours of the morning, while the sun rose from its sleep, the curious orange crossed the field in search of freedom. Time to go to adventure two. When the curious orange could roll no further, he hitched a ride with a little baby who was going for a walk to the park. Click video here 
and I've got a baby who gave a ride to a curious orange. Now we're on to how did it end? So I think I'm going to split this clip up into two because I've got quite a lot to say on my final thing and this clip is actually quite short. So let me record the first bit. Finally, at the park, the orange hopped off. Save. And I'm going to record my voice over here. Only to be squished under the foot of a passerby. Okay, and then I'm going to put a video in again. Let me put in another clip here. I know this is kind of cheating, but I wanted to show you using a split screen. I'm going to put in an icon and I'm going to put in grave. Okay, nice. I like that one. And then I'm going to put in some text. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Now, final thing I'm going to show you here is I'm going to go to theme. And because it's an orange, I'm going to change my theme to orange as well. Great. And then also I can go into music and I think I'm going to choose this one, Old Country Accordion. Maybe I'll just bring the music down slightly, just using the slider there. But if you want to preview the whole thing, see what it's like, click this one here. The Strange Tale of the Curious Orange There once lived a curious orange who found himself trapped in a freezing cold and dark prison along with other fruits and foods from around the world. One night, the prison guard left the prison door wide open. Without waking his fellow fruits and foods, the curious orange made a run for it. In the early hours of the morning, while the sun rose from its sleep, the curious orange crossed the field in search of freedom. When the curious orange could roll no further, he hitched a ride with a little baby who was going for a walk to the park. When they reached the park, the orange hopped off, only to be squished under the foot of a passerby. Please do share your work with me using the hashtag Digidom or find me on the socials Dom underscore trainer. And also, if you want to get these strange tales, which I have a feeling might become a regular feature, let me know in the comments, then please do subscribe to these videos so you get them before anybody else. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.